Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen and I review perfumes. Today I have some amazing, amazing mango perfumes. It's still summer for a few more, like a week and a half, I think. Well, it depends when this is released, but we're still able to wear a mango. And even mango is a pretty strong fruit. It's, um, it has a lot of lasting power. It has a lot of strength. It really has a strong smell for a fruit. So it can be worn well into the fall or even year round. Um, thank you so much for coming. Um, if you have a chance, I'd love if you left me a comment, leave me a mango down below or um, subscribe or give a thumbs up. Any of those work or not. Today we're going to talk about 10 mango perfumes. So without further ado, I'm going to get right into it. So this is Ajayeb Dubai Portrait by Latafa. So I've heard a lot about this one online. It's a really, really beautiful bottle. The hype is real. And I really like this one. I blind bought it by jo from Joma Shop. And um, don't regret it. Don't regret it at all. It is a beautiful, beautiful citrusy mango. It's very, very feminine, pretty, medium sweetness. There's a little bit of oud in the dry down, a little bit of osmanthos, floral. So, so pretty. I would say a mid-range mango. It's not super heavy. Uh, or dirty or any of that and it's not like a light watery mango it's a mid-range like this a lot fruity tropical citrusy really really worth it very very economical Ajayeb Dubai by Latafa in this beautiful bottle it was released last year the next one I've talked about quite a bit now I have to say this one is one of my favorite in my collection and I was definitely influenced to buy this one. This is God of Fire by Stephen Humbert Lucas. Look at the beautiful bottle there. Now this is a beautiful fruity mangoey perfume. It has ginger, berries, lemon. Now this one was a little bit viral and there's a reason for it. It is absolutely stunning and it kind of surprised me like listen this is a compliment getter and listen it it really it really surprised me because this kicked off my love of mango perfumes now i grew up in canada we didn't have mango in the 80s like i didn't have a mango until i don't even know when i had a mango like i'm not a mango eater but this perfume smells so rich so intoxicating so beautiful i always get compliments in this one i always feel good it lasts the sillage for this is amazing like astronomical the longevity is like 10 plus hours yeah love love god of fire by stefan humbert lucas so that is a really good one to get your nose on. The next one, also a lot of hype online. This is Sunsplosion um, by Simone Andrioli. So this one has beautiful notes of coconut, lime, mango, guava. It is exactly as the words say. It is a Sunsplosion. Now, the mango gives it a little more creaminess than the other ones. The guava adds a different dimension. There's no guava in the other ones. So it is almost like a fruit smoothie on a tropical island. It definitely, definitely screams summer. It is so, so inviting and pretty and feminine. The, this one, I would say moderate sillage and moderate to long lasting power like it really does last but not like god of fire god of fire is the og but this one definitely definitely a summer must have bring it on vacation wear it all summer i love it so so much 
So the next one, I really don't think I've heard anyone talk about this, or at least not many people. This one is Chypre Mojito 45 by Palimois de Parfum. So this is a French perfume house. Now, this is for those that like their patchouli. There's definitely patchouli in this. Um, there's no getting around it. So if patchouli is not your thing, then you might want to skip this one. But if you like patchouli and you like Coco Mademoiselle, this is even a little bit more patchouli than that, but still really, really beautiful, really great, lasting power, lasts all day, great sillage. This one has grapefruit, patchouli, mango. It's a little bit different, so it doesn't fall in line with the other ones. This one I would say is more... Um, I would say gender neutral if you are so inclined to like look for those elements. It has carnation, it has bergamot, it has mango, and it has patchouli. So it's a more simple composition. So there's more earthiness, patchouli, but you still get that juiciness, that fruit, that bergamot, but the carnation and the patchouli gives it a more earthy, I don't want to say dirty, but you know what I mean? Yeah, but I really like this one. It's very, very different. It doesn't smell like everyone. A lot stronger, a little bit more challenging, but give it a try. Don't blind buy it though, definitely. That was um, Chypre Mojito 45 by Palimois de Parfum. The next one also got so much love online and rightfully so. I bought this one recently secondhand. This is Summer Hammer by Lorenzo Pazaglia. I could never say that, Pazaglia. So beautiful, beautiful bottle. This is a gorgeous mango perfume. It has mango, it has, it has pineapple, there's coconut, there's florals. It's a little bit musky, just a little bit. There's a little bit of amber. And the thing about this is there's some watery notes. The other ones don't have that. So there's more of like a sea vibe, an ocean vibe. Very, very pretty, coconutty, creamy, mango, pineapple. It is so beautiful. I think this is my second favorite after um, God of Fire. This one also has great, great longevity. 10 hours all day, great sillage. I feel great in this one. I love this one so much. Just happy, beautiful, feminine, pretty. Summer Hammer by Lorenzo Pazaglia. So that's that one. Now the next one is, um, no, I only have a mini of this one, but it's so cute, I have to show you. So this is Fame. Oh, let me put his head on straight. This is Fame. Look at it. It's, um, so let me get this right. So this is a mango perfume. Now this is the Eau de Perfume. So the original one has like a silver bottle, a silver body. Um, but this one is uh, a black body. And it's supposed to be a little robot. But it has, let me read the notes, mango, bergamot, there's a little bit of pink pepper, jasmine, patchouli, frankincense, sandalwood, benzoin, and musk. So this one is more, it's a more of a woody mango. It has more um, depth and weight than the original Eau de Parfum, but it's so pretty. And it's much um, more accessible and has a better price point. I would say for me, medium sillage, medium longevity, a beautiful, really light, fruity, feminine mango perfume. That's Fame by Paco Rabanne. It was released in, look at that, look at that cute guy, 2023. Okay, so the next one, I only have a sample with on this one, but it's so amazing, I really wanted to include it. So this is Blockade by Mind Games. Um, I'll put the picture right there. So this is a, it's quite a pricey one, but this smells so good. So this is obviously a mango one, but it has different notes. It has, I'm gonna read them, it has pink pepper, which you really get off the top. It also has bergamot, tomato leaf, and it has cyclamen. It has a little bit of star anise, 
which I'm not usually into star anise, but here it gives it, it adds to that peppery contrast of the fruit. It makes it very complex and interesting. And then the dry down, there's like suede, oud, amber, and patchouli. It's not very patchouli-like, but there's definitely a fruity, woody, a little bit of spice. The tomato leaf gives it a little bit of green. I really, really, really like this one. This is definitely on my watch list. Like, if I come across a bottle of this secondhand or really on sale, I would snap it up. That is um, Blockade by Mind Games. I have a little tiny sample here. So yeah, love, love, love that one. The next one, so the next one is Mango Mood by Fleur. This was released last year, 2023. It is a gorgeous mango perfume. And I also blind bought this one. I think it's like $39 or something like that. So it's very economical. It is a body spray. So it has a lighter wearing powder, power, but very, very pretty mango with a brown sugar dry down and a jasmine floral note. I found this one, I was surprised. It lasted for me all day. Like it really, really surprised me. And I really get mango, there is black currant, there's a bit of pepper, there's, I think there's some orris, jasmine, patchouli, and there's a tiny bit of vanilla. I don't get the patchouli or the vanilla, but it just adds to the lasting power. But what I did get is mango, I got jasmine, and I got the brown sugar. I really like this one. Great lasting, lasting power, great longevity. Um, and it really impressed me because I did a review of the Fleur um, house. I think I reviewed like eight of their perfumes. And they all, to me, were very similar. They're all like your skin but better, except for like Tangerine Boy. Um, they're all, they're all good, but they're all a little bit like they kind of blur together in my mind is the best way I would describe them. Like they're just, but this one is more unique. It really... It packs a powerful mango punch. And I would think that if you if you marry this with any of the other mangoes, man, you are gonna be going for days. So yeah, Mango Mood by Fleur. It was also, um, the perfumer was Jerome Epinette, who's done a lot of, a lot of big name perfumes. He's a very famous perfumer. Yeah, Mango Mood by Fleur, like that one a lot. So this one is an older one, and this, um, I don't know, who has tried this? If you've tried this, or you have this, or you like this, let me know. This is Boss Woman by Hugo Boss. I kind of like the simplicity of the bottle. This is 24 years old, is that possible? Oh my God, it's so old. No, because that means I'm so old. This is gorgeous. Now, okay, this is like light, like little M mango. So it is a crisp, light, airy, more floral, feminine, pretty, everyday wearing mango. There's definitely mango in that. It starts off with mango. It's got, I think, freesia and violet. And then the dry down is cedar and I think a little sandalwood. It is very, I would say, universally crowd pleasing. This is a great everyday scent this is a great office scent this definitely stands the test of time now if you like um your skin but better clean if you like um clean reserve this would definitely sort of fall into that you're not getting really strong mango you're not getting any really strong notes they're all married together well in a light crisp perfume that's good for every day you will just smell clean and fresh so this is uh boss woman by hugo boss and the last one is kind of a dark horse like i just sort of stumbled into this one and i just like the bottle so much that i bought it uh well i was looking and it had mango and it so i decided to buy it. this is happy chapard uh lemon dolce now the name lemon dolce to me is a little bit deceiving so it does have lemon. I'll read you the notes. Lemon, bergamot, orange, mandarin orange. Love mandarin orange. Shizzo, um, ginger, 
orange blossom, mango, apple, cucumber, that's interesting, mint, and woody note. And this is what I get out of this one. I definitely get the mint. And I like it. So it's like minty lemon. It smells like a, a little bit like a mojito almost, but also like the boss woman, very light wearing, fresh, everyday, clean reserve vibe. Very pretty, definitely lemony, definitely a little bit floral. The mint kicks it in, gives it, it's like a green lemon aromatic. This was, I don't know, I think it was like $29 or something on FragranceNet. And same with this one. I think this was like maybe $39. I, I can't remember exactly, but they were very, very economical. Now this, I think the bottle is absolutely beautiful too. This is from 2018. Actually, I thought it was older than that. To me, the name is a little bit deceiving. Lemon Dolce to me makes me think of like a lemon creamy sweet dessert. I don't know. Am I wrong? Am I missing the mark there? I don't know. Let me know. So if you're still watching, thank you for staying with me. I really, really appreciate it. I love doing these videos and I love to hear from you. So give me a thumbs up, give me a comment and subscribe if you can. And if not, have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.